everybody, how are you? How is your 2017 going? It was going well for me until I watched a new Sherlock episode and cried myself to sleep. Anyways, in today's video, talking about Sherlock Holmes, I decided to do sorting Sherlock Holmes characters into um, Hogwarts houses. And just to clear up, just to clear everything up, I'm talking about BBC Sherlock. Uh, like the 21st century Sherlock. Um, yeah, and I love Sherlock and I decided it will be quite a popular topic to talk about uh, since the new episodes are coming out and also my last video when I did um, sorting YouTubers into Hogwarts houses did pretty well so I guess you guys like this kind of stuff so I decided to repeat it and again just wanted to apologize for not uploading a video uh, on the 31st of December, I guess you don't need any explanation for that. But anyways, I have eight characters to go through and yeah, let's get right into the video. So the first character is obviously Sherlock Holmes. Can you even guess which house I'm gonna put him in? Ravenclaw, obviously, well, well though, he kind of has some Slytherin vibe in him. In Ravenclaw, because all cold and like heartless exterior is not really how he's inside. And obviously Ravenclaw because he's really clever and witty. And the next character is Dr. Wat Dr. Watson. And again, all these characters and putting them into the houses, um, kind of like by how they represented in a TV show. They might not be in the same houses from like the Arthur Conan Doyle's series and stuff and but like in a TV show they're pretty much that's how I feel if you feel differently please let me know in the description box below it's open for you guys um basically going back to John Watson John Watson is a Hufflepuff slash Gryffindor loads of people I guess will put him in Hufflepuff because like oh John he's so like nice and friendly and loyal um yeah there was even a joke about it in the new Shadow episode but he was in war he fought he fought in the war is that right I think whatever and plus he always goes onto these brave adventures with Shadow so I guess he would be like a mix of a Hufflepuff and a Gryffindor because he has qualities of both of these houses next character is Mycroft Holmes. Mycroft Holmes is Slytherin, I think, and at the same time Hufflepuff. And I know it is a weird thing, which is like a Slytherin and a Hufflepuff, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, because I feel like he's a Hufflepuff because, like, we all know how he loves Chad. Like, we all know how he loves his family, even though again he's like cold and heartless exterior, but he's just such a like a lovely family-ish person I can imagine I can definitely imagine Mycroft having a family and kids and like a wife and sitting there having a family dinner I can definitely imagine it but at the same time he is a Slytherin he's really kind of like all this exterior makes him feel like a Slytherin and also he's really lonely I'm not saying all Slytherins are lonely I'm just saying that because of their hard um personality because of their difficult personality sometimes they are quite lonely-ish um so yeah Griffin uh sorry Slytherin and Hufflepuff are for Mycroft Holmes then it goes Mary Watson don't let me start crying if you haven't seen a new Sherlock episode um then you probably won't understand why every time when I say Mary Watson now, I get feels. But yeah, watch it and cry yourself to sleep like I did. But Mary Watson is pretty much uh, Gryffindor, Slytherin and Ravenclaw and a bit of Hufflepuff. Basically, if Mary Watson would sit there with a hat on her head, the hat would basically say, choose what you want. Because she's brave. She's been, she's a freaking retired super agent. What the hell? Uh, super secret agent, whatever you want to call it. So she's Gryffindor. She's brave. She is really sort of like ambitious. And we see that a lot. So she's Slytherin, obviously. She's really clever and really wise and really witty also. Which is um, a Ravenclaw. And also she's really loyal and really kind and really resourceful. Uh, resourceful Slytherin, again. 
shit. She is really good at finding things. I mean, she found Sherlock uh, in one episode, whatever. So yeah, basically, Mary would have gotten to choose herself. Then we go with Molly Hooper. Just point, just putting it out there for most of these, for like all of these characters, I think that are uh, named. I get two different houses for them because they just the characters are so developed that you can't put them in like one house. That's impossible, I think. So for Molly Hooper, I would go with Hufflepuff as the main sort of thing because she's really. Uh, really helpful and really kind and she's really loyal and even in this episode where she helps um, Mary and John with their kid and the second house for her would probably be Gryffindor because she's just so brave Molly for me is such a brave character she like she can do much more than she does right now so I think like Gryffindor, she's really brave. She's really, really good. The next character is Professor Moriarty. And it is said, like, Andrew Scott, who plays Professor Moriarty. But honestly, I don't feel like he's represented as Professor in the TV show. So, Jim Moriarty is a freaking Slytherin with a mixture of Gryffindor. I know what you think. Uh, uh, Gryffindor and Slytherin for one person? Like, what? But let's be honest, he's a freaking Slytherin, he, he, he's ambitious because, uh, I mean, he's the leader of so many freaking evilly things. Then he's also really resourceful because he's basically an evil consultant. Consult it, so if Shalik is consultative detective, consulting detective, I forgot the terms, okay? I forgot English, anyway. Basically, he's an evil person who is consulting other people how to do things. So he's resourceful, right? This is a resourcefulness, I guess. A tiny teeny bit, don't get me on that. But he's also pretty brave to do all of these things. You have to be so freaking brave and so freaking uh, not afraid of anything. And this is like Gryffindors, so in gym, more reality. Anyway, um... Yeah, just Gryffindor and Slytherin. Mrs. Hudson. For some reason, Mrs. Hudson feels for me like a Slytherin with Hufflepuff. She's really loyal. She's really nice. She's really kind of cool. But she's also quite, like, ambitious. Uh, yeah, just Mrs. Hudson. And she's also quite Gryffindor. Um, we all know about her previous husband and who he was. So, yeah. She's pretty brave as well to be who she was. The next one is Inspector Lest Lestrade. Um, I always get his surname kind of like, his Lestrade. His Lestrade. His Lestrade. Anyway, Greg. Anyway, I feel like he's a Gryffindor mixed with Hufflepuff. Like, he's really loyal. He's really sort of like, he's really loyal, he's really hardworking, and he's amazing. But not our division. <laughs> Hard walking, yeah. Uh, anyway, he is. And then he's also really brave to do all the things he does because, like, to become an inspector, it doesn't happen in, like, a click of the fingers. So, yeah, he's a Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. Is that what I said? I'm pretty sure that is what I said. But yeah, that was all for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And a new episode of Sherlock Holmes goes up from the night of 8th to... Uh, 9th of January, like in that night. So I'm really, really excited about that, and I hope it will kind of like restore my heart just a little bit after the last episode. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this jumble of a video, and I will see you next week. Uh, why am I so like, why am I rushing? I don't know. Anyway, bye!